Hard work is not the thing. We're sold this idea that it's hard work, but hard work is one component. And it's not even a hard work. It's smart work. It's effective work. It doesn't have to be hard. Hard is a state of mind. It's a consciousness. Nothing has to be hard. Blessings and blessings, beautiful soul. My name is Preston Smiles, and I'm extremely excited to be jumping in this juicy conversation with you today, which is the five mindset tools that I've used to become a multi millionaire. Now, I want to preface all of this by saying being or becoming a millionaire isn't all that it's cracked up to be. It matters more what you're keeping and the lifestyle, the type of life you're living, than the amount that you're making, if that makes any sense. So what I first want to do is not glorify the idea that millions make you something per se. I know I use that as the title because I knew it would get some of you to click. Um, and Truth be told, everything I'm about to teach you and share with you is and has been things that I do that have helped me become a multimillionaire. What I, I caution towards is you thinking that you need to be that too. I want you to hear the principles. I want you to hear the, the inner workings of my consciousness and the understanding that I have and also not get caught up in what I have, but ask yourself what what kind of life do I want to live? And how can I apply some of what I'm learning here to that lifestyle? Not based on a number goal, but on a goal to experience the great fullness of this beautiful life that we have all been blessed with. So, um, principle, mindset, number one, that I have used continuously and I was just coaching a friend on this because, uh, I, I, I reminded him, I said, Hey, hey, bud, you're, you're, you're deep in the blue collar work hard thing. And if working hard was the only thing that was necessary for us to become wealthy financially, then my mom, your mom, and everybody else's grandparents and, uh, all the people who cut the grass out there would be rich. Hard work is not the thing. We're sold this idea that it's hard work, but hard work is one component. And it's not even a hard work. It's smart work. It's effective work. It doesn't have to be hard. Hard is a state of mind. It's a consciousness. Nothing has to be hard. It may be challenging. It may be difficult, but it doesn't have to be hard. I know I'm getting caught in the weeds a little bit, but I, I really linguistically, I just wanted to be crystal clear about that language. But the principle that I have used over and over and over again is if you can hold it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. So one of the first things that I do when I'm declaring something, right? Whether it's, Hey, I want to build this, or I want to have a real estate portfolio, or I want to be successful at my health, or I want to be successful at whatever I'm pointing it at. One of the first things I do is I go internal, right? If you don't go within, you will go without. So I go within and I allow myself to imagine, to dream, to feel what it would feel like to be successful now. I allow myself to swim and bathe in the energy of abundance now. I don't wait. I hold it in my mind. I hold it in the head before I ever hold it in my hands. And so if you are committed to whatever you're committed to, whatever you say you want in this lifetime, one of the first things you get to do is envision yourself. In the Bible, it is, they said, it is done unto you as, A-S, as you believe. The as is active. It's a verb. As you believe. It is done unto you as you believe. Well, how are you believing? What are you believing? Because you can create heaven and hell right here, right now. Mm. Principle 
mindset number two that I have continuously worked with and it has served me on so many levels is I don't harp on past mistakes. I don't swim in and sit in what didn't work for too long. And, and there's a big reason for this. One of them is I know that we humans are hardwired towards negativity. We have something called a Velcro brain. We are constantly trying to avoid pain more than we are trying to get and receive pleasure. And so if I know that about my mind, I know that about the reptilian, I know that about the animal, it is hardwired towards negativity. And then simultaneously, universal law says you get what you're most interested in. So if we get what we're most interested in, but I am hardwired towards negativity, then I there, there's a there's a bridge, there's a gap here. And so I acknowledge mistakes. I use them as growth opportunities, but I do not swim or live in those environments. Oof. That. Let that land. Principle, mindset, number three. And this is a little more practical for you business owners out there. I cover all bases. Like if I'm doing a launch of anything, I cover every base. So, so many, many people uh, do this thing where they put all their eggs in one basket. I never do that. I put a, a good portion of my eggs in a basket, but I have some of them in other baskets too. Because if that basket doesn't work and there's a strong likelihood it won't and there's a strong likelihood it will, who knows? But what I do know is that I'm not gonna be caught with my pants down. So for those of you saying, I'm committed to this thing, you cover all bases. You start to think about what other angles, what other ways in which could I potentially sabotage this? What other ways could I potentially create abundance? What other ways can I meet people where they are? What other angles can I take to make sure, make sure, I love the uh, etymology, I love to look at the words. What does it mean to make sure, right? Like this this bottle of water here, and I'm freestyling, this is all freestyle. Um, I, if, if I put this cap on like this, and I just put it on, I haven't made sure. So if I flip this over, there's this likelihood that the water stays and there's a likelihood that some of the water spills out. But if I put this cap on and then I twist and I twist and I, and I check, I'm making sure that I cover all bases or at least the most that I can come up with. So this, my friends, I tell you, no lies. This will change your whole life. Many of you are, um, you, you get caught in one thing and you, you want that thing to be the hero. Uh, I don't think like that. I think holistically. Mindset number four. Um, and this is a really big one. This is probably the biggest one at some level. Is I ask for help. The question is not how, the question is who. Who has already done this? Who has a piece of this puzzle? Who can help me? Who can further me? Who can challenge me? Who can support me? Who can love on me? Who? Your environment is one of the biggest pieces. This is one of the reasons why Alexi and I created Sanctuary. And for those of you who are not and don't have a spiritual community, a place where spirituality and life coaching meet, if you want a place like that, that's extremely affordable. Make sure you jump in with us because we, it's so amazing. People are having some of the biggest breakthroughs already. We just got started and it's freaking awesome. Sanctuary is a, a place uh, that my wife and I created. It's a spiritual home. It's a place where you get to be coached and held and loved on and you get to learn and grow and think big and think deep, right? Podcasts are awesome. YouTube is awesome, but it doesn't give you feedback. It doesn't know you. Right? It's, 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 it's a one way conversation. And what we've created is a hundred way conversation. So make sure you go to thebridgemethod.org, O-R-G, forward slash sanctuary. 
if you want to jump in and be a part of our crew, um, put in the words, I am family, and you will get a pretty huge discount on something that's already extremely cheap, right? So asking for help. It's one of the biggest parts, one of the biggest pieces. And if you don't do it, you can go semi-far, you can go semi-fast. But if you do it, if you ask for help, if you receive help, if you swim in environments where people have already done what you want to do, if you swim in environments where people will hold you accountable, you will be more successful than you can ever imagine. That is just real talk. Um, last but not least, number five, I call it the double where. Where am I and where am I going? Right. One of the biggest pieces to manifestation and success is assessing where you actually are, right? So I'm continuously throughout a launch or any type of journey, I'm asking, so where am I now? Right. In real estate, they say location, location, location. Where am I? Where am I in my consciousness? Is my heart open or is my heart closed? Where am I in my goals? How many people are in? How many people are out? What have I done? I'm, where am I? I'm checking in. Where am I? And then I reassess and remember where I'm going. Where am I going? Why does this count? Why does this matter? Why? Where am I? And where am I going? What can't be measured can't be managed. When it comes to tangible, real life, Rocks are hard, water is wet. Success. You need to be able to measure where you are and where you're going. And some of my biggest launches, we, we have something called good, better, best. What would feel good for you? Uh, I'd feel good for 22 people to be in. Awesome. What would be better? Uh, 42 people. Awesome. What would be best? 142 people would be best. Cool. We're going for 142. And if we get to 122, fantastic. If we get to 22, fantastic, because that was still good. But we assess, we know where we are and we know where we're going. So I hope that this reached you. Um, I hope that you have received value. I love all of you. Once again, if you don't have a spiritual home, if you don't have a family to, 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 to hang with, to play with, for people to know you. In sanctuary, that's what we're doing. We're setting up a place where people get to really know you. We're asking you. It's it's a year long um, journey, right? It's it's not a program. It's a spiritual community. This is not about checking boxes. This is not about going fast. This is not about running to the next thing. This is about grounding and growing and learning with other human beings all over the planet. And I have one big juicy bonus. If you jump in now, I think we're at, uh, I think we have 50 spots left. Um, you get a free retreat by becoming a founding member. We're almost at our number, 50 spots left. You get a free retreat with Alexi and I, my wife in Austin, Texas, uh, in October. So please move fast. I love you all so much. Blessings and blessings. If this resonated, go on to social media at me and share your biggest takeaways, your biggest breakthroughs. But um, if you do anything, just take one of these and put it to work right now. Love you so much. Blessings and blessings. Oh, oh.